to Soho Trent and the world. This is Six Towns Radio. Sugar Bill, um, it is a Thursday afternoon, early doors, we've got Wolf Alice here in the back room with me. Uh, can you just introduce yourselves first of all? Uh, my name's Ellie, I sing and play guitar. My name's Joe and I play the drums. My name's Theo, I play bass. And welcome to Stoke. You just said to me off mic that this was one of your first gigs out of town. Can you remember when it was? October 2012, I think. Exactly, you can remember, it. Yeah, I think it was that. It was with the band Peace, mm-hmm. and it was the first time we'd ever gone on tour, which was actually a total of three days. <laughs> <laughs> we had a long, week- a long romantic weekend with Peace around the country. Yeah. And one of the, our first venue was here. And uh, I think we were saying, when we first got here, we remember thinking how massive this was and how, you know, well done to Peace for yeah. playing it. Yeah, it's a great little venue here in Stoke. It gets quite a lot of big gigs and you know touring mm. bands through here. And I know you've been on tour all over the country. Is this the last date or one of the last dates of this tour? Uh, I think we're playing dot to dot. Um, but out of our headline shows, I think this is the we've got two left. So. Mm-hmm. And how's it gone? Has it been really rowdy? Some great people coming down. Yeah, we've had a great time, pretty much. Well, none. Every show's been really fun, and it's been great to see so many people coming to our shows and singing the words and all those things. It's really been. Um, I feel like it's like a bit of an achievement for us to have have people in different places around the UK. It's very humbling. Yeah, yeah. Because you've had a few signals out, and uh, you've got a new EP. Uh, when does that come out? Twenty uh, sixth, which is in like a couple of days. Yeah. Monday. Monday. Yeah. So you're excited about that coming out because again, people now know your material. They want to see something new out there. Yeah. Yeah, no, we're really excited. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, I've heard you're all fans of the Brian Jonestown Massacre. Is that true? It is. I actually momentarily are going, what's the music shop called down there, your local music, music mania? Yeah. yeah, I was just in Music Mania and I was about to buy the record store release they put out. It was like a split that they did, but I, I'm broke. So. <laughs> <laughs> they, they've played here. Right yeah, a couple of times. Um, They're on tour I, soon, eh? Yeah, I interviewed Anton uh, really? just before the gig, and um, he was in the pub. There's a little pub next door called The Stage, and he got that drunk, I had to carry him into the gig. But oh, he got on stage with a bottle of vodka and did about two hours straight, non stop. Really? Yeah, what a great gig. Uh, he's he's yeah. amazing. Thank God for Mental Illness is one of my favourite Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, incredible band, absolutely incredible. <laughs> and uh, I also know you're big Simpsons fans as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Moan Lisa Smile has a uh, has an element of Lisa Simpson in it, definitely. Yeah, for the outsiders out there. <laughs> so when you are writing, is there something that you've tried to tackle a subject or a story that you want you to write a song about and you just haven't been able to do it? Um. No. <laughs> <laughs> Simply, just no. <laughs> well, I think there will be a stage now, like our first album we're, that we're, we're going through the process of piecing together is a collection of more of, of our stuff and I think that one day we will want to be a band that writes things with a theme and stuff like that, you know. And mm-hmm. we, just, we just need to get to that stage. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that will be something we will incorporate heavily one day, thematically. See how it goes, isn't it? Okay. Can't tell. And when's the album due? Um, well, the only time we can get into the recording studio will be after festival season, so around September. So I think that means it will hopefully be out early next year, January, February. Oh, awesome. Of course, festival season, that'll tie you up for a few more gigs. Yeah. Uh, is that something that you did before you were in a band, went to festivals? Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Like, I think we all went to like, Reading and... You've been to Glastonbury. Yeah, yeah. I went to Glastonbury a couple of times, so yeah. So what's the, the best and worst things about playing at a festival? Uh, the best. You're outdoors, so that, that's got to be a good thing. It is sunny, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think it, the worst it. thing is that it's kind of, even as an audience and as a play, band member, like that festival is heavily dependent on the weather. Sometimes, like mm. you can have a real miserable time. <laughs> it's just terrible weather. So yeah, it's, it's a tricky one. But I mean, there's just so many good things about it that yeah. that doesn't really. So there's not many bad things about it. Really. Um, I think we'll find, ask us after the summer and we can tell you. <laughs> yeah. So far we've only done a few so it's hard to tell but I think like the excitement you get from the idea of playing something that you've been to like when you're younger or maybe it's like yeah. a reason why you even want to play music it's such a thrill that even if it was raining like no one turns up it'd still be such a thing to say yeah. you've done you know. And obviously now you've been in a band for quite a while, you know what it's like if you party a bit too heavy and you've got a gig the next day, is that something that's always in your mind now, not to hit it too hard? 
Yeah. 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 <laughs> it was until you went on tour with Superfood, you should actually be called like Superhuman because it just seemed to just ride this insane wave of energy all the time. No, you, it's, there's a fine line and you yeah. can overstep it sometimes. Um, yeah, I never thought, I always thought, you know, in like slightly youthful exuberance, was like you can always drink and play the show the next day because you've got so much time to recover, but uh, you, you need to watch your step sometimes. <laughs> On your headline tour, you owe responsibility not to be yeah. sh- rubbish. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So back to Stoke after two years, are you going to give it to him? Most yeah, definitely. Man, yeah. Every night is always, Yeah. When, you, when we play the show, it's important and it's going to hopefully go off. Depends. It's 50 50. We'll see. We'll give as much as we can possibly give. See if it's up to Stoke, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The onus is on the crowd as well, isn't it? They've got to give a little. Yeah, I mean, it, we're, we're saying this the other day, not about anything in particular, mm. because obviously it is our responsibility like, as you know, entertainers performers. and performers. <laughs> But there's nothing better than when you get something back, and mm. though that is when a show becomes like a show rather than like a recital. Yeah, you know, it's not like a school assembly. It's meant to be a live gig. You know, they're the only thing that can encourage you. Yeah. You can play the most fantastic you've ever played in your life, but if the crowd aren't encouraging you, then yeah. it doesn't matter. Yeah, so. I think like, the horrors used to say that a lot. They used to say it's a fifty-fifty thing. It's like mm-hmm. you give mm-hmm. your whole, and if there's and if there's a bit coming back, then it makes for a perfect like matrimony of a good gig yeah. if not that's why like, headline show like festivals are quite hard because they're not necessarily there to see you specifically so sometimes they don't give you that encouragement so that's why it's really hard in your headline show if the crowd aren't encouraging you yeah. you're like what's gone wrong but yeah. Yeah, it's hard it's hard I suppose when you first started out and there wasn't as many people turning up to the gigs um, I suppose you had to try a little bit harder or was you've just maintained that all the way through no, the hard yeah. work you put on stage I think we've always yeah. tried really yeah. hard yeah. I think Even now that. like we're still finding our feet with like like yesterday we had a bit of like we were saying Joss pedal just like Explode. blundered for a little bit and, we're like, and we were afterwards we were like what is we really don't know the best <laughs> way to deal with it when you have got that like two minutes on stage with no music and you've got to entertain them somehow without playing the song, you know, which is really hard because like, you might not be an entertainer in real life. You'd, so what did you position. do? Uh, we'll probably embarrass ourselves. Yeah. Some guy yelled he wanted a refund, but I don't think he's going to get it. So. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Enjoy yourself and Stoke tonight. Thank, Thank you so much for the interview. Thank you. Nice one, dude.